Good day, everyone. For this week, I will discuss the simple and general annuities, the future and present values of simple and general annuities. Most essential learning competencies are the learner's illustrate simple and general annuities, the learner distinguishes between simple and general annuities, the learner finds the future value and the present value of both simple annuities and general. For the lesson one, our topic is simple and general annuities. Before I discuss our lesson for today, let's have a recall. Wise decision. Mr. and Mrs. Salas are planning to buy a new house despite of their limited budget. They seek advice from a bank for them to produce enough amount for the down payment of the house they have chosen. According to the bank, if 20000 will be invested at the end of year for five years in an account that pays interest at 10% compounded annually, the couple will be able to have the amount for down payment. If there are three houses for sale offering a 10% down payment of the price, which among these three houses is the best choice? House A, 850,740 pesos. House B, 1,221,000 20 pesos. House C, 2,110,000 pesos. Calculate the amount to which the first to the fourth period, 20,000 pesos, will grow using the compound interest formula. If you remember, the formula of compound interest is compound interest is equal to F minus P. So, before you find the value of compound interest, you need to find the value of future value or mature value. So, the formula for future value is F is equal to P, quantity of 1, plus R raised to T. Note, the 20,000 deposited at the end of the first year, will draw interest for four years. So, it will amount to 20,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 4. The 20,000 deposited at the end of the second year will draw interest for three years. So, it will amount to 20,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 cube and so on. Now, we need to complete this table to find the total amount in pesos. Again, in the, at the end of the first year, we'll draw interest for four years. So, it will amount to, we will copy this, 20,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 4. The answer is 29. 1,282. Then, at the end of the second year, we'll draw interest for three years. So, we have 20,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 cube. So, the answer will be 26,620. At the end of the third year, we'll draw interest for two years. That's why we have 20,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 square. Yeah. The answer will be 24,200. At the end of the fourth year, we'll draw the interest for one year. So we have 20,000 Quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 1. 
So, the answer will be 22,000 pesos. And the end of the fifth year will draw interest for five years. So, we have 20,000 multiplied by <coughs> our quantity of 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to 0. Kung natatandaan niyo any number raised to 0, the answer is 1. So, 20,000 multiplied by 1, the answer should be 20,000. So, the total amount of peso is 122,102 pesos. Therefore, the best house suited to the investment made by Mr. and Mrs. Sales is house B. Why? Because the down payment needed in house B is 122,102, which is the 10% of the price of the house. So, lesson one, again, simple and general annuities. So, annuity payment. When we say the annuity, the payment, or annuity payment, the payment for each period, it speaks and the compound interest rate is fixed over a specific time. When we say annuities, accounts associated with streams of annuity payment. Now, when we say annuity, a sequence of payment made at equal fixed intervals or periods of time. The following are example of annuities. Rental payments. So, di ba, ang rental payments natin, pwede tayong magbayad ng always one one or monthly. Monthly pension. So, nakakatanggap ang isang tao ng pension monthly. Monthly payment for car loan. Kung nag, kung nag loan kayo ng sasakyan, monthly nyo din to babayaran. Educational plan. Ayan, May mga term kung kailan ka pwede magbayad ng educational plan. Pwedeng monthly, pwedeng yearly, pwedeng half year, or pwedeng quarter. Ordinary annuity. When we say an ordinary annuity, the payment is made at the end of each period. Period, periodic payment, or yung R, each payment in annuity. So remember this term, class periodic payment each payment in annuity payment interval the time between the successive payment state of annuity term of annuity the time between the first payment interval and the payment and the last payment interval future value or the amount of an annuity, the sum of the future values of all payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. Present value of annuity, the sum of the present value of all payments to be made during the entire term, term of the annuity. Annuities may be illustrated using time diagram. The time diagram for an ordinary annuity is given below. So, this is the example of time diagram. Simple annuity, the payment interval is also same as the interest period. Example number one. 50,000 deposited every year for 5 years at 8% per year compounded annually. The example number 1 is example of simple annuity because the payment interval is every year and the interest period is annually. So it is equal or same. That's why it is simple annuity. So this is the cash flow of the given situation can be illustrated in time diagram below. Payment, 50,000 period is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
the future value of all the payments at the end of term is t is equal to 5. To show the solution of the given problem, we can use this table to express our answer. For the first year, we'll draw interest for four years, so it will amount 50,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 4 is equal to 68,024.45. For the second year, we'll draw interest for three years, so it will amount 50,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 3 is equal to 62,985.60. For the third year, we'll draw interest for the two years, so it will amount 50,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 2 is equal to 58,320. For the fourth year, we'll draw interest for one year, so it will 50,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 1 is equal to 54,000. For the fifth year, we'll draw interest 50,000 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 50,000. When we add all this number, the sum is 293,330.05. General annuity refers to an annuity where the length of the payment interval is not the same as the length of the interest compounding period. If the payment interval is the same as the length of the interest compounding period, again, it is simple annuity. But where the length of the payment interval is not the same of the length of the interest compounding period, it is general annuity. Examples of general annuity. Number one, monthly installment of a car, lot, or house with an interest rate that is compounded annually. Kung mapapansin natin, monthly installment at ang kanyang interest period is compounded annually. So, hindi sila equal. That's why the example of general annuity. Katulad nung nasa number 2. Paying a debt a semi-annually when the interest is compounded monthly. The payment interval is semi-annually where the interest period is monthly. So, it's not the same. That's why the example of general. Example number two. Find the amount of annuity of 700 every six months, one half year for 12 years if interest is 6% compounded monthly. To solve the given problem, we have step one. Step one should be Find the value of 1 peso invested at 6% compounded monthly after 1 year. To solve this problem, this problem rather, to solve this problem, we will use this formula. A is equal to P quantity of 1 plus I raised to N. Since wala tayong value ng I, hahanapin muna natin si I. To solve for annual rate, we will use this formula. I is equal to R over T or rate over term. So we have I is equal to our rate which is 0 0.06. Paano nagkaroon ng 0 0.06 dito? Ang ating rate is 6%. Itong 6% na to ay kailangan natin i-convert as decimal. So, 6 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.06 over 12. O yung ating time or term. Paano tayo nagkaroon ng 12 dito? Sa loob ng isang taon, meron tayong 12 months. Compounded monthly, that's why our time or term is 12. So, when we divide 0 0.6 to 12, the answer is 0 0.005.
So, our I is equal to 0 0.005. To find the value, we will use this formula. Let's substitute all the given value. A is equal to 1. Ito po yung 1. Quantity of 1 plus I. The value of annual rate is 0 0.005. Quantity raised to 12. O yung 12 natin, saan natin kinuha dito yun sa N. Or number of months, which is 12. So, kapag sinimplify natin to using your calculator, 1 quantity of 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to 12, the answer will be A is equal to 1.06-1677-812. Step 2. Let the equivalent one half year B rate be 1%. Note, the equivalent yearly rate would be 2% annual rate. Now, find the value of 1 invested at annual rate percent per one half year after 1 year. So, we will use this formula. We have A is equal quantity of 1 plus I or annual rate raised to 2 where 2 is the number of times Interest is compounded. Step 3. These two amounts must be equal. Hence, this quantity of 1 plus annual rate square is equal to 1.06-1677-812. To simplify this equation, let's square root both. So, square both sides. So cancel, cancel. So 1 plus annual rate is equal to the square root of 1.06-1677-812 is equal to 1.03-0377-509. To get the value of annual rate, transpose 1 to the left side. It will be annual rate is equal to 1.030377509 minus 1 when we subtract 1.030377509 the difference is 0 0.303377509 therefore the equivalent one half year rate is 3.03 77,509%. Ito po ay tinarms lang natin kay 100.